Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Saturday, which means dealership life. Actually, you know what? Let me show you this Tahoe real quick. So it's Tahoe, uh, Tahoe season here at Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston. We've had five, uh, this black one sold. And I want you to take a look at these black wheels. So these are the black 22 inch wheels that you can get as an option. Tires are 275, 50, 22s. The reason I bring those wheels up is because this RST Tahoe also will have the same wheels. As you can see now, they have these, um, you know, these pretty plain generic steel wheels that the vehicles are shipped with. And then the actual wheels come into our parts department. Uh, we didn't get the wheels for this truck yet. We're still waiting for them. And I currently have a customer uh, on this vehicle. Now their concern was the 22 inch wheels and the tire size because they don't want to have like a low profile tire in which they have all sorts of problems with. So all I can really do is reassure them that, you know, in my experience, my clients haven't had issues, you know, and the tire size is really only 20 millimeters different. You know, I actually made a mistake there. It's actually 10 millimeters difference as far as the profile. So the profile of the tire, meaning this portion, is only 20 millimeters different. No, 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 10 millimeters, not 20. Then what you would see on a 20 inch wheel, like we have on this Tahoe over here, you know? So it's not a dramatic difference in profile. And I think for that reason, that's why most of our clients, again, in my experience, don't have issues where like these are getting flat tires and, and you know, having problems with, with the tires themselves. So hopefully I could put this deal together. They're coming in tomorrow to drive it. However, we may take a deposit and put the whole deal together today. Numbers have been discussed. Everything like that is done. It's just, you know, the go ahead. Can I take the deposit? So I'm just waiting for a response from the customer. And other news, we have a customer about 20 minutes away that's coming to see this truck. Now, she stopped by yesterday on Friday to see if we had any Tahoes. She's going through a Tahoe situation. She went to another dealer, she ordered the truck. This was months ago. Turns out the salesperson she ordered it from was no longer there. So they assigned her a new salesperson. This new salesperson hasn't gotten back to her. When he does, he doesn't really have any information for her. She has no idea if the vehicle was even ordered. So she decided to look online, find some vehicles in stock. She found found these two Tahoes here that we had, decided to take a ride over in, in hopes that we had them. Fortunately, we do. So I showed her the vehicle yesterday. She didn't drive it yesterday. She wanted to come back today with her husband. So they just called, they're on their way. So I'm gonna pull this up front and uh, have it ready for him so I can show her husband the vehicle and then uh, you know let him drive it and see what we can do. This Tahoe is a 2022 LT four wheel drive luxury package. It does have bucket seats in the second row, as you can see there, and it does have the 20 inch wheels. So MSRP on this truck is about, I think it's like 65.8, somewhere right around there. Uh, we are currently selling Tahoe and Suburban. I know you're gonna hate me for saying this, but we are selling them at 4,000 over MSRP now. Uh, we were 2,500 for the better part of the year, and then about two weeks ago, that changed. The whole goal, like it has always been in sales, is be, you know, in a sense, the cheapest on the block, right? And that's how you, you get people into your store, and that's how you sell vehicles. And even though we're at 4,000 over MSRP, compared to what we see in our area, uh, we are still the cheapest. I mean, we've heard customers coming in saying that stores are 5,000. I know a store that's 69.95. I know a store that's charging people 10,000. And there was a store recently that started, actually a customer came here, they bought one here. They didn't want to pay the 4,000. They fought tooth and nail with the salesperson for about three days until they decided to finally do it. Their son was here and he was saying, mom, remember the one that we went to where they wanted $20,000 over? It was on GMC Yukon. And then it was funny because the salesman actually went into the office and was talking to the managers. Before he came back out, the mother looked at the son and was like, why would you say that? Why would you tell him that? You don't say it something like that. You keep that to yourself. So it's actually a pretty funny situation. But um, yes, we are at 4,000. I told that to my customer yesterday. I explained the situation. I explained where we were. Actually, the store that she bought or ordered her vehicle from, I know is a store that is charging people, from what I understand, 10,000 over MSRP. So when I mentioned four to her, she didn't really bat an eyelash, even though it's against the norm of the car industry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remote start this. This way the climate control turns on. By the time they get here now in about, I would say 10, 10 minutes or so, uh, truck will be nice and cooled up for them. While we're waiting for our customer to show up, let me just give you the update on the Suburban Saga. So the gentleman that canceled the appointment because he had to work was supposed to come in the next day and he actually did not come in the next day. Uh, however, we got in touch. He again had to work. It was just timing. He came in yesterday. And it's funny because I have a customer that's on this truck, you know, that really wants it, but just can't quite make the commitment to say, I want to do it. They're like on the fence. And so does Crazy Eddie. 
So me and Crazy Eddie are both going back and forth with our customers. Both are giving us that, like, they want it, but they're not ready to just commit to it. So it's very interesting. It's been going back and forth. Um, last I spoke to my customer yesterday, he was gonna, you know, give me the go-ahead, or the, I should say the no-go, the go-no-go, because either he was gonna tell me he wasn't gonna do it or he was gonna do it yesterday. However, um, he didn't call back and I actually, uh, I had to leave early yesterday for like an hour early. So um, I'll talk to him today. We'll see if uh, we can put him in it and uh, get that done. But the uh, 2018 65,000 mile Suburban, still available. My Tahoe clients did arrive. We went through the vehicle, answered a bunch of questions, did like a whole product demo. Uh, they're out now test driving. So I'm just kind of hanging out in the shop here Keep an eye out for when they come back in. It's actually a small world. They drive a 2002 Suburban that they bought brand new back in 2002. They bought it at a store called Warnock Chevrolet, which is actually where I started my career in 2004. And they bought it from a guy named Frank, who I worked with back then. Frank, so what happened was that store ended up selling their Chevy franchise and a new owner was gonna come in to buy it. So I interviewed with the new owner and I did get a job for his new Chevy store. Frank, who was there for 17 years, ended up coming to this location, which at the time was a different ownership, but uh, he came here. About a month later, he called me up and he was like, listen, David, the owners want to meet you. I told them you, you know, you're doing a good job. They want to hire you here. Come on down. So I had the choice to either start my career, really start my career, because this was only like nine or 10 months into when I started selling, selling Chevys. So at the time, I decided to take the job here at this location. The new owner actually did open that Chevy store and within a year, it closed. So I made the right move and I've been here uh, literally ever since we got two car dealers that's right two car deals so a lot has happened since my last little update i got really jammed up with a bunch of customers at the same time we did in fact sell a chevrolet tahoe is this angle good we did in fact sell the Chevrolet Tahoe. It's not the one we have in stock though because the customer really wants a sunroof. So we placed an order for a brand new 2023. While they were there and while we were working at that deal, I had customers come in that wanted to order a Chevrolet Bolt EUV with me. Thank you very much, by the way, for coming in. And thank you to the number of people that have come in through YouTube, uh, like these folks did today, to buy a Bolt. You know, it looks like the videos I put out there are really helping educate people on the car, on the electric Bolt. And uh, it's paying off because now not only am I helping people out and they're getting the information they need, they're then rewarding me with their business. Some people coming in from quite a distance away. So I thank you very much. Uh, we didn't fact write a factory order bolt for 2023 and then while they were there i also had a gentleman come in who's a longtime customer of mine who wanted to check out this uh, 2500 series pickup truck so i gave him the key we put a plate on it he drove it and uh then when he came back he just gave me the keys and he's like listen give me a call so i have to go in i have to call him see what he thinks what his plans are and what he wants to do because i have no idea as of yet but for now we're going to park these we're going to finish our paperwork on our two deals and continued the rest of the day. All right, ladies and gents, I gotta end this video here because we did in fact put together the other Tahoe, the white one. So this is deal number three for the day. I gotta get everything ready for this. So I'm gonna cut the video here. Thank you for watching and I will uh, see you real soon in the next one.